Yes, people, welcome back to the 1894 for another transfer video. Now, today, myself and Joe have someone very interesting to talk about. Someone that hits home to some of our Irish fans, like myself and Mr. Revel, who's also a member of the channel. We're going to pop his image up on screen. A very nice jersey on the player. And that is, of course, England international Declan Rice and, of course, West Ham captain and midfielder. Uh, a player I admire a lot. I would have absolutely loved to have seen him play for Ireland. I know he played for us at underage. Understandably, I think it's fair to say chose to play for England. But anyway, we're going to pop a tweet up on screen now. If you see, we'll get rid of that photo of him wearing the Ireland shirt. That is old news. A tweet on the Age 94 Twitter account today from James Ducker from The Telegraph. Man City are very interested in West Ham and England midfielder Declan Rice. Now, Declan Rice, over the past year or two, has been attracting quite a lot of attention. Obviously, he's had a very good camp campaign with England during the Euros in the summer they got to the final he was instrumental in all of that and I think it's fair to say he probably is West Ham's best player uh, he definitely is right now and he's probably one of their all time greats in terms of ability and quality he really makes that team take over. Now, where would he fit into City's team? Of course, he plays a defensive midfield role where we currently have Fernandinho and Rodri. Two very, very good players. Fernandinho, very accomplished, very much at the tail end of his career. I would imagine he will either retire or at least leave City probably in the summertime. I'd be very surprised if he extends further. But Rodri was a slow burner for us when we signed him. He's really come into his own this season. He's found a new level. We speak about players under Pep taking time to adjust and adapt to the system and then come in good. Hopefully that will happen for him. But it has happened for Rodri and Cancelo and other players this season. If Rice was to come in, I would imagine he'll be competing directly with Rodri. Um, and I think that will provide Rodri with good, good competition. Now, as always, leave your comments down below. How would you see Declan Rice fitting into our system? Should we go for Declan Rice? Obviously, we'll speak about some players now in a sec, but we obviously have um, not many players in that position. You've got Romeo Lavia, who is now a part of the first-team squad, I'm almost certain. Uh, and, of course, is a big instrumental player, or was for the EDS side. He plays for them a lot. Um, he's valued at about £100 million, Declan Rice. That's exactly what we paid for Jack Grealish. It would match the, the British all-time transfer record. We paid £100 million last summer for Grealish. Are we going to pay £100 million this summer for Declan Rice while possibly chasing Erle Haaland or other big top, big top strikers that we, we clearly are interested in and probably need? It's an interesting one. Joe, Mr. Declan Rice, I'm a, I'm a fan of this player, but it's very much not an easy deal to get over the line as he is attracting interest from clubs like Chelsea and Man United and other clubs around Europe. I'm a fan of the player himself. I mean, he's he seems very comfortable on the ball and would probably suit a Pep Guardiola system. How long he stays, you know, we'll never know. But I just, I can't see us signing him for 100 million and then chasing a striker for near on 70, 80 million as well on top of it. I can't see us doing both, especially not equaling our transfer record for someone who, let's be honest, with the form Rodgers in, would come in straight away as a backup player. And I know you said before we hit record, we do need the squad. We need someone who's going to push Rodri to be even better and then he'll push himself to be even better. But, I just think, no, why Why pay the money? Why pay that amount of money for someone who's initially going to sit on the bench? I know you can say that with Grealish, but I feel like with attackers, it's different. I feel like, especially in a, a front three, a City front three, Pep Guardiola front three, it gets rotated a lot more than the, uh, the lone six, which is usually, you know, the main guy in the team, the guy who plays the most games alongside probably the goalkeeper and, you know, the defenders, they usually play most of the games during the season. So... I can't see it, although, again, very good player. I think he would suit the system down to a T. Um, it's just whether City can, well, City want to do it. And again, does Pep want it? How long is Pep going to be here for? Do they trust Lavia enough? You know, Lavia, I'm pretty sure, was the EDS player of the season last season. You know, so I'd be leaning more towards giving him a bit of a chance, but I wouldn't be surprised if you know Fernandinho moves on in the summer and City gets someone, whether it's Rice or not, I don't know. Yeah, I'm a firm believer in, in giving Academy products an opportunity, and I think it's fair to say the Academy products that Pep has chosen to give opportunities here and there, obviously the most notable one was Phil Foden, who has come to become one of our most important players week in, week out. You've got Cole Palmer, you've got James McAtee, but obviously bringing these players in is putting a lot of pressure on them. Is Lavia ready to come in and become the immediate second-choice defence midfielder? Now, obviously, you said defence midfielders are generally the players who play the most football throughout the season other than the goalkeeper, but injuries do happen, dips in form do happen, and I would like a, a pretty good quality player behind Rodri to come in and take his place. I think Declan Rice definitely does have the quality. But the point I want to make is, similar to Jack Grealish, who came from Aston Villa, a club who, when he came anyway, were very much 
bottom half of the table he moves straight into the Champions of England where the expectations are, are far greater you're playing in European football I know Declan Rice has played now a bit of Europa League but he's never really had that exposure or that experience playing in the Champions League from what you've seen of Declan Rice do you think obviously you know maybe him a bit better than me because he's now an England international I don't really watch the England games uh, I know you watch a bit more Premier League than I do so from what you've seen from Declan Rice do you think maybe he has the mentality uh, and of course the quality to fit into a very unique system that Pep Guardiola plays. There's, there's no other team in the league plays a similar system to Pep. I know other clubs and managers have tried to copy it and, and make their own versions of it, but in my opinion, haven't been so successful. Does Rice have the technical ability, the mentality to slot into a team where, like I said, the, the standards are higher, both mentally and physically, to challenge for titles every single season and to play essentially champagne football in the process? I think he definitely can. I think he's one of the more comfortable midfielders on the ball, especially when you consider West Ham. I think a lot of it, you know, from transition into from defence into attack will go through him. Um, it could be a you know, if he wants to come in, it could be a similar pattern to Grealish where he might struggle at first because the Champions League just is different altogether. We saw with Grealish, you know, he wasn't getting the same, you know, fouls called and stuff like that. It took him a bit to adapt. He's still adapting just in general, really. So... I wouldn't see a problem over the long term because, again, he's not too old. I think he'd have plenty of time to adapt. I think it would be, you know, it'd be more than fine. He seems like he has a really, really, really high ceiling. Um, I've seen him play for England numerous times. I know he plays in a two there, which makes me want to gouge my eyes out sometimes. But, again, he's the main guy who links that defence into attack um, in the two. He's usually playing alongside Calvin Phillips, who's usually, you know, playing a bit more box-to-box. Uh, playing a bit further up and he's usually the link man and he's very comfortable in you know he can play in a three he came through originally as a centre half so he can also fill in there uh, he can drop and make it a three like I've seen numerous times for England where on paper it's a four but Rice will drop and he'll make it a three and he's just a really good defensive shield and again I want to re-emphasize the point that I would be more than happy to sign Declan Rice I would because he's a quality player I just don't think it's going to happen. Yeah, a good point is, obviously he started off his career very much as a defensive player, defensive midfielder, sits back and breaks up attacks, but through showing his quality and his ability, he's transitioned into a very competent uh, box-to-box midfielder, almost similar to, to, he's maybe a hybrid nearly between some of the qualities De Bruyne and Gundo have. Obviously, I wouldn't say he's on their level just yet because they've achieved so much and they've been so consistent and he hasn't been around as long as them. But he has similar qualities to... He's got bits of what both of them have, so maybe it'll be interesting to see how he fits in. But I think the big question here is, and the big talking point, is, of course, the price tag. Like I said, we will need another defensive midfielder, whether that is Romeo Labia or possibly another academy product, who knows, or a, a player we bring in. Is $100 million worth paying for someone to, like you said a few minutes ago, initially come in as a second choice, possibly challenge Rodri. You'd like to think he would for £100 million. But then again, we are going to fight it out for him. If we are to go in for him full-bloodedly, we're going to fight it out with other clubs. I've seen Man United named. Chelsea, of course, will naturally be named. He grew up through their academy, if I'm not mistaken. He's best mates with Mason Mount. I'm sure that'll help. Mason Mount may put in a word, all this kind of stuff. These things happen. And we know, you know, through other transfers, City do not traditionally like to get involved in bidding wars and fighting it out with other clubs. We tend to pull out and say, nah, you guys work away. We have full faith in our scouting system and our ability to bring in other players. What are your thoughts on that point, Joe? I think um, a £100 million, a £100 million transfer war is not something I can envisage City doing for a Declan Rice. Maybe more so for a Haaland or a Vlahovic or someone. I just don't know if I can see it happening for a defensive midfielder right now. It's not a release clause, so no, I can't see it happening. If, if it's that much money, we're not going to engage in a bidding war because it could get absolutely ridiculous. He's a Chelsea boy. He probably wants to return to Chelsea at some point in his career, play with his best mate, Mason Mount. That's, you know, that's natural. Someone who comes through an academy supporting a club, you know, of course you dream of playing for the club you support. And United desperately, desperately need someone to play defensive midfield and they're not afraid to sp- uh, splash the cash out either. And it's not just the transfer fee, it's the wages as well. I imagine City wouldn't want to have a backup defensive midfielder on two hundred, three hundred thousand pounds a week. Maybe like a United would probably offer because they are ridiculous with their wage bill with certain players. So... If it's a bidding war, which it most certainly will be for a player like that, I think as soon as someone is linked and, you know, puts in a bid, I think it's going to alert the other clubs and they're going to, you know, throw their hat in the ring and see if they can try and get him. I think City just pull out when he gets, you know, when multiple clubs get interested because that's just how they operate. That's 
how city have done transfers it's not a release clause like Grealish, so it's not as easy as you just go in give the money and you know now you're just negotiating with the player and the agent it's there'll be a lot of negotiating and we saw what happened with harry kane trying to start it off low and negotiate it gradually i just don't think city will end up pursuing the deal yeah, when he, when he does decide to leave or it is time for him to go, to go somewhere else, uh, it will very much be absolute carnage, I would say, amongst the Premier League clubs. And I know he's attracting attention from around Europe as well, but my guess is Declan Rice, being the England international, growing up in England, like we said, uh, Chelsea Academy boy, um, he probably sees his future and wants to stay in the Premier League and win Premier League trophies. Um, like I said, I don't think City will take part in a bidding war. I'd say teams that are more happy to, to keep bidding and, and, and battling for players i.e. Chelsea and Man United, I would imagine they are the two that will go to the wire for this player. Obviously, I think myself and Joe can unanimously agree we would like Declan Rice and happily take him. Very good player and it'll be interesting to see how he would slot into our squad. But the reality of it is it's not very much in City's nature. Definitely through the recent history and, and our transfer track record, I can't see us taking part in a transfer war. But like I said, it's an interesting one. We'll keep, we'll keep on top of it. It's very much recent news is new new enough to us that City are very interested it's going to be the title of this video in Declan Rice we'll keep you on top if there's any other news do leave a like on this video it would really help us it helps other fans find the channel it helps us grow it helps the community grow we really appreciate that and of course subscribe if you're new leave all your thoughts down below Rice to City let's see where it goes Good night. God bless